Hi guys, welcome to another speed build video. This time, this is a collaboration between me and Plumby. Her name is in the description, in the video, in everywhere. So go check her out. Uh, we agreed that we're gonna do two videos. First is this one that you're just watching. I have built a house and she's gonna create a sim in her video. The link for the video is going to be in cards and at the end of the video and in the description so you will not miss that first when we talk about this i was thinking first thing that came to my mind was source underground mansion something underground something to use the basement tool for uh, my other thought was princess tower something beautiful because i know that she creates very beautiful sims and i thought hmm, that's gonna be in her area of expertise she has a lot of cc for that already so it's gonna be easy for her but that's not the kind of content of the sims that i create i create something weird i am thinking out of the box every time i am pr basically not not able to think in the box <laughs> so i went with the tower maybe there could a princess live in there and i thought maybe this it's a tower where well maybe so there is someone i'm actually kind of curious who's gonna live there <laughs> i'm looking forward to see her video very very much and uh, basically I thought maybe there's some even if someone's living there I was thinking maybe someone is living there but he or she is not taking care of the exterior very well so yeah and <laughs> when you when you <laughs> when you cannot you know make everything work your way so it wouldn't get out of the walls weirdly just cover it with other flowers <laughs> i really like this wall i was i was building this it took me a while and i was having a lot of fun with that i loved this window i wanted to put it in like a little little balcony and now i'm gonna try to find some other color of the walls to match the windows or maybe I cut it out from the video <laughs> but I was uh, I didn't know what to do <laughs> basically and I was really focused on the outside and then I realized that I really need to get inside and look how the vi windows are inside of the house and that's how I realized that some of the windows are like halfway through the through the floors and <laughs> it doesn't look good so I got rid of these windows I moved the windows that I put in so they wouldn't be halfway on the one floor and the other one and then I added doors and archways instead of the windows. Yeah. Um, the more I built this house, the more I had no idea who was gonna live there. <laughs> um, as I said, my first thought was princess. My second thought was maybe I could implement the sewers in somehow. <laughs> I struggled with the stairs so much. The stairs in The Sims 4 are horrible, horrible, horribleness. What I need from stairs are either diagonal stairs, which is something everybody wants and we still don't have it or uh, like a curly stairs which go up and you don't have to use because when i wanted to try to make the stairs spiral stairs or whatever you call it i it it it, it was it it was the whole room the whole room it was filled with stairs that's not how, how stairs work <laughs> So uh, basically, in the end, I'm gonna just spoil. Yeah, see, this it's just so huge. 
So in the end I went with ladders instead of stairs. Then I forgot to uh, start the recording when I came back to the build. So this is me already decorating the first room and I am back with the thought of sewers. <laughs> and at the top of the of the tower I put this small like prison like part of the room it is very modern like there are the books and the bed and the uh, the plants everything it's just uh, when you compare it when you see the rest of the uh, not castle but the rest of the tower this part of the room is the most modern part of the room i used a lot of things from the new pack from the spooky stuff because it felt like this is the kind of things you would do with the spooky stuff. And I used a lot of things from the realm of magic as well. That's my that's my favorite occult pack. That, I think that is the only occult pack that was actually uh, done very very well. Uh, with the rest of the of the tower, I went with. I want to say medieval, but it's not really a medieval theme, it's just like not really modern one. <laughs> and uh, I used the Realm of Magic carpet over there. I'm gonna get rid of that one. That I, that it doesn't look good. I wanted to make, <laughs> my thought was like, the, the someone who lives there, he or she, is going to sleep in the beautiful bed and she has the or he has the sofa there so he can sit or she can sit and watch the person who is in the prison cell and while i was decorating i went through the uh, statues and i liked the gargoyle and the and the angel and obviously we need to have the small cowpan in the terrarium uh, I've put a lot of uh, spider webs through the whole house. I was trying to put them on places where I thought the, the places are not used, like behind the lamps or in the top of the corners. Like if you if you live in a house and you use things, uh, the spider webs are still gonna be there. It's not like a bon abandoned abandoned but the person who lives there is not really a neat freak and it is a big tower and there is only one person living there probably and the one in the prison cell is not gonna help with the cleaning so there are some spider webs in the whole house <laughs> there's one bathroom i am going from the, the top to the bottom so this is like the second from the top and uh, at first i thought this, this is gonna be like a study but then i realized hey we have the paranormal stuff back out so we're gonna have senses here <laughs> um i mean this is the this is like a study with seance stuff <laughs> I uh, I don't know uh, what I was thinking, but I thought maybe the person who lives there, the sim that lives there, loves writing, loves books, and loves reading. So uh, that's how I decorated this room with, with the diary and the books everywhere, books, 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 books. And I also put a lot of books downstairs, you will see that in a chest. A second I really like this new thing from the spooky stuff not spooky stuff paranormal stuff uh, now this is the <laughs> walk-in closet how Americans call it this is something we have in Europe when you walk in someone's house you can take off your shoes and your clothes so you wouldn't you know make a mess in the house. Uh, the, this cabinet is also from the spooky stuff, but the paranormal stuff, not spooky. Ah, it's just so similar. Uh, in the future, I'm gonna replace the 
the light in this in these rooms because when I was going through the rooms, I realized that there is a uh, like when you walk in the room, the the light is like right on your head, and I thought it's like you wouldn't like to live in a house like this. I don't know if you would ever like to live in a house like this, but when you uh, well, well, I wanted to you know increase the chances. <laughs> um, so this I thought maybe is like a living room area, probably. And I've put a lot of huge paintings everywhere. <laughs> and this, yeah, and I used a lot of, the, the, this is where I already knew that I'm gonna use a lot of paranormal stuff furniture. Because this feels like the kind of house that you put the paranormal stuff things in. Uh, not because they're really paranormal. Because this tower is not really paranormal, but it feels like that is that kind of vibe, like an old place with a lot of books. Maybe an old older lady lives there. She likes to do seances. She likes to kidnap people. Do you know? Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I was I was having fun building this house. I really was. I'm not such a great builder, but I like to, uh, and I like to build weird things. So I knew from the start that this is not going to be a normal house or beautiful house or anything like that. Maybe it is kind of a beautiful house. I like it. I would live there. There's not a lot of room for kids though. So maybe when I retire someday from being a mom, <laughs> me and my husband will buy a tower like this and we will, we will keep prisoners at the top. That sounds like fun. Yeah, and the carpet was going outside a little bit, so I just covered it with plants. <laughs> so nobody suspects that. Uh, now this is the last floor, so I went the top, the second from the top, the bottom, and now this is the last floor. And I was thinking there's gonna be the kitchen and the dining room, dining area. And uh, yeah, now I'm doing statues and... Oh, and I found the wishing well and I thought this is actually something I really need in, the, in this house. Uh, after... A little bit. I will realize that there is the uh, like a little balcony over there, and uh, I want the bigger room to be the dining room. So I switched everything to the other side. Uh, this is the dining area. I don't know why I have places for six people in <laughs> in this place because I'm pretty sure there is no time like. Did it never happen that six people would come to this house and have a meal together? Maybe they they, they did. Let me know in comments. What do you think? Do you think the <laughs> six people could have a a meal together in this house? Like why not? I'm just guessing that the people who live in here or Sims who live in here are not really. really um, people people like same people <laughs> but you know maybe they host parties maybe they do the seances I don't know um, there are the decorations I don't like to use the same kind of decoration over and over and over I know some people use it in their builds and it's probably smart <laughs> But I always think like, oh, I already used this bowl of fruit over here. I'm not going to use it again over there, even though it would be perfectly fine to use this uh, bowl of fruit in the dining room and in the living area, for example. Uh, I am experimenting with putting plants in the rooms. In real life, we don't have, we have no plants in our house because my plants always die. 
but for example my grandma loves plants and um, I'm learning I think I think it looks maybe a little better yeah uh, this is the last room of the house it's the kitchen obviously and I wanted to keep this like not modern type of kitchen so I'm gonna put in this uh, cooker I'm gonna switch the fridge I think they're both from Ram of Magic the bin is going to be a barrel and but we still need the fire alarm first I want to like hide the fire alarm so <laughs> you wouldn't see it but then I decided just you know go with that and I want to put some uh, tiles like behind the kitchen so if you splash the water you wouldn't destroy the, the walls I don't know if people thought about that I don't know from which type of area or from which type of year this is, this house is um, it's somewhere in between it's timeless this house is timeless so yeah this is the whole house uh, I was really struggling with I wanted to keep everything in the kitchen and I didn't have a lot of place <laughs> so I was really struggling with that but I think I finally uh, when I put the drinks yeah, with the butter down and the herbs uh, on it, I think that was a good idea. Then I did some shaping, uh, reshaping and recoloring of the outside. This house is built in Klimakru, so I wanted to, again, I wanted to get the outside of the house similar to what already is in Glimmerbrook. I've made some little hills around. I think this house might be usable if you put away some of the vines that block the door and maybe some spider webs. I'm not sure. I think they do not block anything. But the sims will not get in through the door because there's a lot of vines everywhere. So yeah, this is this is the house. I'm gonna just end me here. <laughs> um, check out Plumby's video. Find out what kind of sim lives in this house. The link is over there, there, and there. Uh, and at the end of the video, and subscribe for me. I am doing all kinds of Sims-related videos on this channel. That's fun. Oh yeah, and leave me a like. Bye.